All right, Search and Destroy is loading up right now. The game number two here in our first best of five. Kick it off, and Optic Gaming has won 85% of the rounds in which they've thrown first blood on this map. I mean, yeah. <laughs> That's what you would kind of expect to, to see in a Search and Destroy, especially in a map like this. If you can win that first blood with a sniper rifle, for example, from a distance, that opens up the map. You can really choose them which side you want to go to. Being an offensively favored map as well, if you get first blood at A, you can wrap around the B very, very quickly. I'm looking through some of the classes, and uh, J-Cap, he's going with the bow. We got Clayster with an ASM-1 and Moors on defense. And, of course, we're going to see the attack coming through. What perks is Clay using right now? You want to see those? No, I think basics. Yeah, oh, basic stuff. there's a snipe to open things <laughs> up. It's Nate Shot who is going to get that first blood. And as soon as you get that first blood, you expect to see a very aggressive push come in. Crim6 gets that second kill of the round there on replays. Bomb goes down at a no real surprise. They're up the enemy of lockdown round number one. Nade Shot picking up two. There's the last shots from Crim. J Cap, last man oh, up. And he's okay. going to take out Crim. So round not over, but they all know where he's Thanks. at. And finally, <laughs> there's the shot that's going to end it. Round one. Going to go to Optic Gaming. And you saw how quickly Optic were able to convert that first blood into a very, very solid A push and get that bomb down. That was the, the really impressive thing for me in that round, at least. I was really impressed by J-Cap out shooting Krim there. Krim first shots, J-Cap moving back, exo away, picking it up. So I, As I said earlier on, I've been so impressed with J-Cap at this event. He's, he's looked so good. J-Cap on your screen once again, this time on the attack. His team going to be making their way towards A. J-Cap is going to go for his patented spy here, top three. And of course, we're going to see Scumpy watching over the A-bomb site. He's going to have a little bit of help. Formals drop though, so Scump all on his lonesome. And we're going to see replays already putting this bomb down. Krim did pick up J-Cap, so it's going to be an even three on three. How oh, the bomb has been planted at that A site. Now it's just whether Denial can try and hold that. Oh, Scump's going to fall. Attach picks up his second kill this round. Nicely played from uh -oh. him. Clay is going to get dropped as well mid-street. That's Krim6 picking up that one. Now two versus two. And look at this. There's a player down low. They're going to converge on him. One on two now for Attach, and he's not going to be able to get it done. Nade's going to get the defuse, and Optic Gaming solid defensive hold. Yeah, Krimbot came to play. This is definitely Krimbot on that full street. There, there's base. a nice ace. Yeah, sorry, Krim. Pretty, pretty good. Did not expect you to get all of your kills. <laughs> Five and one to start after two rounds. Krim six, looking good. Played very well on map number one as well. Going into round number three, we're going to switch things up. What I liked most about Optic's defensive stand there is they always had players in position to help out, with the exception yes. of uh, the, the first blood losing formal over on the left side. We're going to see, though, what's going to happen this time around. Nate Shot is just going to be playing it patiently. Skump going to be peeking into the prison. And Jacob, Jacob will be found if he keeps going in this direction. We're going to see some action over at B this round on the defensive end and some aggressive pushes coming in. Nate Shot following up formal snipe with some kills of his own. Gets behind enemy lines, finds one. Jacob spotted, is going to turn on him. And we're going to see now a 1v3 just like that. Optic up 3-0. Yeah, really nice play coming from Optic Gaming that round. It looks as if they were going to go for that slow B push. And Formal gets that snipe and immediately Optic spring to life. See Nate Shot run basically into denial spawn. They trade the kill. And uh, Scumpy shuts down J-Cap for the yeah, last one. Nice little two-piece there as he just charges out for those kills. So Optic holding strong on the attack inside. We're going to switch it up once again. And it's going to be Attach's turn. Can he get more kills right now? He has three. J-Cap the only other player on the team with a kill. Yeah, that's not good enough. If you're now, you're going to need to pick up kills on a map like this. And if the sniper isn't working for you, you just got to put it away at that point. You know, try something different, maybe adapt a little bit. But we saw Attach get first blood last time. He was on the aggressive round, but this time it's not going to happen. Formal's going to clean him up. Looking for the second kill as well. Going to have to double jump up. Gets the assist. Scump comes in and cleans up. Bomb has been planted, though. But this is a 2v4. This is going to be so hard to defend if I'm denial. Look at the aggression. Formal's like, I know where he's at. I'm just going to go get it. Oh, Ooh nice kill by replays. One on two. We've seen his YouTube videos. Can he get another one? Replays, though, has to get there soon. Nade Shot is on that bomb, and nice cover fire from Krim. Krim on a five streak. Nade Shot makes it 4 0. And that was great communication coming in from Nade and Krim. I actually heard Nate say, I'm just getting on bomb, cover me. And that's exactly what Krim 6 did. 4 0. 0. They got to get around, at least for Denial. <laughs> I mean, you. You would hope so. Someone in the crowd totally disagreed with me. All right, here we go. <laughs> Optic Gaming continuing to run he towards B. 
here on the attack. It's formal spreading left. Expect Nate Shot to slowly rotate over there as well. The first peak, though, comes in from Skump and Krim. And actually, Skump is going to be your bomb carrier, and he's going to be charging this one straight through the prison. On the defending side, really attached, trying to rotate over. And there is one player back in their spawn to spot this. Attached as he pulled out that IMR as well. Jake, I guess first blood on formal. That's big. And oh, there's no. a reply that you want. Two versus four, or one versus four, even. As I can't down. get Krim, to him in time. Jeez. Never mind. The that kills, was that round. The, the denial <laughs> players all moving up as they get kills for the first time here. And we're going to see Clayster in your round ending kill cam. Picking up two that round. You got one from Attach and one from JCAP. Much better play, really, from Denial. But full one down. Have they dug themselves into too big of a hole? That's my really big worry when you look at Denial in this specific Search and Destroy Riot game. You have to shut down Krim, though. That's the key. Six and two. He's been playing very well. Need to maybe a spawn nade. If replays can connect with one of those, that's going to give them such a, a good benefit and a good start. Maybe try Danger Close. Haven't seen much of that this event. I thought we'd see more of it. Right, absolutely. Ben, I'm going to let you drive this one here as we're going to jump on board with Nade Shot. Really just waiting out at B. Let's go over to the bomb carrier. Replays on our screen now. What's the plan from Denial just looking at that minimap? I mean, this is a slow push. They basically try to bait out Optic Gaming by not pushing A. Optic may think it's going to be a B push, but Attach needed that pick with the sniper rifle and isn't going to get it. Throws over that nade. See if that is going to connect. Doesn't look like it. Going for the double jump. And you know, Optic don't really have much intel right now as to what Denial's game plan is here. Replays inching closer and closer to B. You got JCap leading the charge. JCap is going to win the first one on Nade. A second battle goes down, but Krim victorious there. Bomb is being planted. Players all above them, though. Attach. Can he get the snipes? Oh, I, did he just see him double boost? I think he may have done, but he's going to try and get away. Like this play from Attach. That's going to leave his teammates a little bit further far pushed up. And Clay's in oh, a good wow. position to help answer back, but he's forced down, so. Crim6 kind of taking over oh, no. B, and here comes the flood. Scump is going to take down Clay. It's all up to attach now on a 1v2, 22 <laughs> seconds left, and what a shot to make it a 1v1. This is going to be so tough for Crim. 17 seconds left. Attach knows he can see bomb from a hit. Crim has only one choice, and that's to run it in. Attach is going to know that. Oh, Must no. clutch this up. Oh, no. Crim gets there. Does he have there. the time? Can he get the return? Go no. back to the game. He, do he doesn't have it. Doesn't oh. have it. Doesn't have it. Really smart play from Attach. As I said, Crim was left with only one choice in that situation. Right. It was he had to run it Attach. Touch had the sniper rifle out. All he needed to do was peek up, and he would get an easy kill on Krim trying to feed I them. thought there was nine and a half seconds left. No. I was like, can <laughs> Krim cross over? Not going to happen. And we're going to see Denial now. Two rounds back to back. A little bit of momentum. Let's see if they can keep running this. Attach, very impressive stuff to play that one patiently. Yeah. But really, his shot was kind of off when Krim attacked. I mean, he got that first snipe on Scum. Right. Was really, that shot really was nice. not off. Yeah, he, he was using some good angles there. Look at the aggression Attach. from Attach. What, I, that was a very interesting push. Formal is just going to, well, Formal just got a three piece actually, so let's see if Formal can try and get that ace. Plays on the ground. Clay gets the KO. However, Krim is around the outside. Let's have a look at Clayson's perspective. Can he clutch the one versus three? He gets the nade. It's now one on one. Krim six versus Clay. The old teammates. Let's see what Clay can do. Clay versus Krim. You can see on the mini map we have Krim six highlighted in yellow. Now on your screen, Clay on the opposite side. Taking his time. That was a really good nade as well that came out from Clay to force this one versus one. Time, of course, ticking. 20 seconds left for Clay to try and make something happen. Of course, he has to go for the defuse. Clay's going to see him. Clay gets the kill as well. He's going to have enough time, and Clay is getting very loud. He's letting Krim know about it. Denial are coming back in this game. That was a 1v3 clutch right there from Clay. Yeah, he just let the crowd know here at Columbus. Clay doing big things, and just like that, Denial <laughs> is back in it. After being down 4-0, they went three straight, and Ben, I'm trying to figure out what has been the change. That was just a huge clutch from Clay. Yeah, individual gunfights really was a thing. You know, we saw Attach clutch up in, in that 1v2. Emily didn't get the second kill, but managed to just bleed out the time enough that Krim couldn't get the defuse. Now Clay gets a 1v3 with the defuse as well. Massive plays coming out from Denial in the past three rounds. And here you see Optic now getting aggressive on defense, trying to push out. Jump shots. Clayster got hit Yo, markers Clay, on the first one, unable to connect on the second Clay's shot. Clay's feeling real good. Yeah, when he's challenging shots like that, that's when you know you feel good. But there's a player actually coming on the flank, and Attach is going to pick up that kill. Nicely played from him. Meanwhile, you got J-Cap, mid jail. Three plants all ready for replays. He's your bomb carrier here in this round as well. Round eight, Denial trying to tie things up. 
Optic Gaming, of course, taking game one if you're just joining us, but now the action picking up. You're going to see Formal trading some kills. You got Krim6 taking out Clayster, so that's going to mean it's attached to JCap left in a two on two. Formal last man up is going to get oh. sniped and finished from the top. Nice teamwork there. Wow. I went to change to Formal. Next thing I know, he drops dead. Attached, I think he got the hit marker. He did. And JCap cleans up a nice two piece from top three. Great stuff from him. And Chris, we're, we're all tied up full full. I'm liking it, man. I, this th is this what we is... wanted. We wanted a tight series. That first game, so one-sided. Oh, yeah. I was nervous that this was going to be a 6-0, but really, Denial doing it as a squad. You look at the stats, Krim 6 on top at 10 and 4, but across the board for Denial, it's pretty even scores. Yeah, the key has been Krim slowed down a little bit. Going for some uh, maybe little grenades there. First one doesn't connect, neither does the second. However, it Look at the push coming in from Denial. I was going to say, very aggressive defensive push here. And it's going to be Krim punishing the first player. Clay's just going to take out Nade, though. So we're going to see a three on three. Action over at B. Long range shots connecting, but not finishing. Nade shot will be cleaned up. So it's two on three now. Scump with the bomb, trying to figure out how to get in position. Let's see what he can do with two players in front of him. This is three versus two in favor of Denial. Scump's going to get tagged up. Can he get away? Oh. No, he can't. He's going to fall. Krim 6 now. Can he get a 1v3? We saw Klaesa do it earlier on. Pressure on Krim. He does have the bomb in hand, though. He's going to get attacked. Turns around. Goes for the pre-fire. Not going to happen. Denial are coming back and now have the lead here in Search and Destroy Riot. This is a huge place from Denial. And we got Denial fans here in the venue clapping with every round. They're getting louder and louder. Klaesa are down 9 so. and 6. Big round once again, a nice three streak. When you get clutches like, you know, we saw with, with attached clutching up against Krim6 and then, you know, Clay getting a 1v3, that gives you so much confidence as a team to know that you can come back. And now they're 5-4 up. Optic need to really just clutch up here. They need to summon some energy here. Do anything. The fifth attacking round for Denial here in round 10. Replays, making his way over to A once again. There is a player watching B on the flank, making sure Optic doesn't do what they just did to them in the previous round, and it looks like we're gonna see some slow play here from both squads. Trophy system gets deployed. Scump had to have seen them there, didn't he? You would assume so. Attach is gonna give him some cover from up top. He's gonna call that out. I heard Crimson actually just call out. Attach formals already there's got first, but there's Scumpy getting the second. That bomb not planted. So now a two versus four. Attach and JCap showing up against the full of the gaming squad. IMR in hand. Attach is going to have to hit these shots and get out. He's going to switch over to the ASM1. Teammate rotating over. They're going to go for the push. JCap takes out Formal. Now JCap's going to get away. Attach going to take fire. JCap in a 1v3. This will be the ace for JCap, but he only has 27 seconds left. He's going to have to try and play this one pretty smart. 20 seconds remain. Oh, he's going to see him, I don't think. Nope. And he's making some noise as well. 15 seconds, time's ticking, he needs to go for this bomb plant. Should see Nature, gets the kill on Nature, but 10 seconds left. I, I mean, up the game, they've clutched this 100%. Krim just needs to check that bomb. Yep, he there it is. was coming, but we're gonna round see our second round 11. Okay. All right, Krim, I like 12 it. and five, picking up his 12th kill here. Clayster, nine and seven on the other side has been the leader for denial. After losing five rounds in a row. That's a, that's a big round for Optic Gaming. Absolutely. And that is going to put this all tied up. Optic actually on the defensive side. So Denial arguably with the advantage here I on mean, the attack to A. Yeah, 78% of the attacking rounds were won in Season 1, as we touched on earlier on. So you would say Denial have the, the favorite side, I guess. Players pushing at B right now. We're going to see some action from the top roof. JCap challenging, and wow. he's going to be punished. Crim 6 and Formal. Combining on that kill, replays with your bomb is going to be moving it through the hall, and he is going to be caught by Scump. Two on four now. Clayster and attached though the two players you want up for denial in this situation. Up to gaming, playing this one very, very smart though. In this 2v4. Attached with the IMR. He's going to see the first one. That's going to be Scump. He gets the kill, but immediately gets traded. Clayster now one versus three. We've seen him clutch one in this game. Can he get the second here in a round 11? The defensive strategy so strong here from Optic, always in positions to trade. And this is going to be so hard for Clay to get one and get out. He sees the first, gets the first. Nicely played. Now, does he know where the second is? Yes, he does. Clay's third. Can he get a second? Yes, he can. 1v1. No. Formal clutches up. 
gets the train. Meryl smiles in the booth, but for a minute there, that looked like it could be squeaky bum time. Probably. Yeah, up 4-0, you let it go to round 11. That was a scary one for Optic Gaming, but the end result, the win we expected at the start of that, it's going to be 2-0 for Optic. They are just one game away from becoming our season one champions. Let's send it over to Mr. X and center for the